What is up guys, it's Sloppy Slip, and in today's video it's going to be another Settle Down Sunday, woohoo. So, today's Sunday, of course, as you guys know, or as you guys should know, unless you're on some other planet, then it might be Monday or Tuesday or some other type of weird day that might be called Kajinka Day, something like that. <laughs> um, but anyways, so today's Sunday, so as I do on some Sundays... I do Settle Down Sundays, and it's a commentary series where I just kind of let the commentary flow. I don't take it more than one take. I just kind of let it flow out of me, and whatever comes out, comes out. It's more of like a raw, raw video, I guess. So, the first thing that I have to talk about, I have like three things to talk about. If I don't get to them all, then I don't get to them all. It's fine. Oh, in the background, this isn't my new capture card uh, I'm gonna be like moving in and out from it because um, like video to video it might be with it or it might not be with it because you know I still have gameplays that I use that I captured with my HD PVR and you know I'm not just gonna throw those away because you know these are pretty good gameplays like in this gameplay we would go 250 you know in headquarters and this was when the game kinda first came out um, I don't know, we were trying to rank up really fast, so we figured, okay, let's play Headquarters. And then we later found out that Headquarters really isn't the most fun game time to play. There's other game types that I really enjoy and we enjoy more. So, the first topic is why I haven't been doing this series. And you know, it's not going to be a weekly series, but I was playing with some subscribers a couple days ago. I think it was Friday. And then I played, some of them added me on my friends list. Man, <laughs> I had like 85, or I had like 76 friends. Like, I cleared out my friends list like a good th two weeks ago. And now I'm already back at 100. So if you didn't get to add me on my friends list, then, you know, that's, that sucks. <laughs> but, yeah, why I haven't been doing this series, like, weekly is just because, you know, I, I would rather put out tips then have you guys i mean you don't have to listen but you know have you guys listen to this i mean it, i i know a lot of you do like this it, it's more of an intimate type commentary you know I'm not, I'm not just saying oh yeah guys this is how you rank up faster this is how you get faster kill streaks blah 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 you know it's more of um um just letting you guys into my life so you know i'll, I'll try and keep it weekly but if i do already have like sometimes i forget to to uh to do it and i just end up making a regular tip commentary or something like that so if i do do that it's all right you know it'll come around the next week and the, the second thing is how hard it is to commentate now like i i see all these all these commentators coming out now and it's crazy i mean <laughs> The, the the YouTube Call of Duty community is extremely grow it, it's growing extremely fast, and I I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, like I'm I'm trying to look back, and I honestly don't know how I started growing like so big. Like I remember once I hit my partnership, I started growing really fast via SEO search engine optimization, which is one of the benefits of being a Vulture partner and being partner in general is that you get like your videos are pushed uh, atop of the people that are not partners in like the YouTube search box or whatever like say you search for Modern Warfare 3 tips and tricks and there's my channel there and then there's some channel that has 20 subs and isn't partner my channel is going to show up first because I am partnered that's basically how I started growing once I got my partnership so I grew pretty fast after that and then it's just been kind of steady lately like I haven't really hit this landmark where I start getting like 20 to 30 subs a day now I don't know why but it'll happen eventually I'll get some break and you know I'm gonna keep making commentaries no matter what so I just figured okay whatever I'll just keep doing it but like Trick shutting isn't as big as it used to be. The games that they come out with now are not trick shutter friendly. I mean, trick shots actually look pretty nice in this game, but in Black Ops 1, they looked absolutely terrible. Modern Warfare 3, they looked terrible. And Modern Warfare 2 is really like the only game where trick shotting looks like fabulous. Like, it looks flawless and it looks really, really clean. And I think that's really the only game that that really makes trick shotting friendly. World at War trick shotting is is crap. Uh, COD 2, I mean, you can get a no scope across the map, but that's pretty easy. I mean, 
they, the bullets go straight where your straight where your crosshairs are, so it's pretty pretty easy there. But you know, just games nowadays they don't they're not trick shot friendly, and and montages are starting to get a little bit of cliche. Now I watch my my montage I get my montage fix from time to time, but you know, I'm not really like the montage guy. I'm more of listening to what people have to say because in my opinion, you know, people uh, there there's a ton of people, a ton of great. Call of Duty players out there that can hit trick shots, can get like eight man feeds, and they don't have PVRs. They don't have anything. They don't have capture cards. They don't have anything to record it with. And you know they're kind of missing out. So you know I, I do like watching montages from time to time, but it, it it gets boring after a while. And I'm sure you guys think that too. I mean it, it's all basically the same. But if you do have a really really good editor, then that's really really entertaining to watch. Someone that can actually add a storyline to a montage. Ooh, that's really good. Oh, I was playing. This was from the midnight release. That's what this was from. So this was I, this was like the first couple hours that I got the game that that this gameplay is from because I saw I was playing with uh, Vulture Games Ollie, and the only time I played with him was at the from the midnight release. So that's that's pretty cool. That's interesting. I'll have to save this gameplay. But anyways, sorry to get off topic. But you know what? Who cares? It's settled down Sunday. <laughs> but yeah, the last thing is the Black Ops 2 lifespan. So, I don't know how far Black Ops 2 is going to go. I get, to be honest, I, I get bored of it. I mean, in Modern Warfare 2, I think it was a lot more fun. The whole thing where you have to, like, I, I don't know. It just, for some reason, something about Black Ops 2 doesn't keep me coming back. I mean, the really the only reason why I play Black Ops 2 is to talk to friends and, like, to, to basically, like, hang out with friends, really. Like, if it was my decision to play Black Ops 2 alone or do some vulture work, I would definitely do vulture work, you know, or do some virtual school or something like that. You know, I would definitely do that over playing Black Ops 2. And, you know... It, it kind of sucks sometimes because, you know, I need gameplays for commentaries. And it, it, it sucks because, you know, I don't always want to play the game. And if I don't have gameplays, then I really don't have gameplays. And I can't really... I mean, I could always go into a regular match and get, like, a, a scrubby gameplay. But I like bringing you guys good good content. In fact, I have a orbital... Not an orbital VSAT, but a um, drone swarm game on Nuketown that I have for you guys. I recorded it with my HD PVR. And it's a really, really good game. Like, it's just straight, it, it was Capture the Flag, and it's just straight objectives the whole time. And then I, and then my VSAT comes up, and I'm like, oh crap, I get my VSAT. And then it keeps going on, keeps going on, and then I get my Swarm, and it's, it's pretty awesome. So, you know, and, and really, to be honest, there's not these kill streaks in Black Ops 2 that are, like, keeping me coming back. Like, there's not those fun kill streaks like the Chopper Gun or the AC-130. Uh, the, um, what is that, the Lodestar, yeah, the Lodestar is really, really fun to use, you can get some really, really good, uh, kill streaks going on with that, man, it, it's fun, and, um, I don't know, let me know below what you guys think, do you guys think that Black Ops 2 is going to last, I mean, of course it's going to last, but do you think it's going to be, like, as fun, you know, say, the next Call of Duty comes out, do you think you're still going to want to come back and play Black Ops 2? I don't know about that. I went on Modern Warfare 3 the other day, and it was pretty fun. Like, I was getting on pretty, pretty good kill streak. So, um, you know, that that's that's always a great, fun game. And I love Modern Warfare 2. I'm more of an Infinity Ward guy than a Treyarch guy. I'm sure you guys know that already. But anyways, this gameplay is wrapping up, so I guess I'll wrap up today's Settle Down Sunday. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below, and... Maybe even drop a like or a favorite for bringing back Settle Down Sundays. You know, I haven't done it for two weeks or whatever. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like down below, favorite, subscribe. Come check out my channel for the best tips for Black Ops 2. And stay sloppy, guys. See ya. Our generals will be pleased.